Hello everyone, welcome to this brand new lesson. In today's lesson, we are going to see how we can set up our simple email services, which is also known as Insert SES. Alright, so we'll be using this simple email services. You can simply search it here, SES, then there you get simple email services. A simple email services at AWS is used to send a bulk email for a marketing. Alright. Perfect. So once you click on SES, you will be getting a management console, something like this one. And uh, there you can get started with identity management, sending statistics, all those things. But before seeing these things, we have to set up our email with SES. So we have here a two option for identity management. Either we can verify a single domain and all the email will be verified at that domain. For example, let's say if I verify kgptalkie.com domain, then all the emails at kgptalkie.com will be verified. Otherwise, if I want to just verify here a particular email at my domain or any uh, or a Gmail or whatever, a, a single email only, then you can select this one. But if you want to verify here a full domain, then you can use this a new domain. All right. But here I'm going to just use a verify email. That's when only one email will be verified here. And I will be able to send email from that only particular email. So first of all, let's go ahead and enter this email, which I want to verify here. I'm, I'm going to say here info at the rate kgptalkie.com. All right. Click on verify this email. They will send us. I mean, they will send an email to this email address, which will ask me to verify it. All right. There you see, it has sent me this email. It says that verify it. Then I'll simply click on here and then it will verify my email. All right. So verification is successful. Once verification is successful, you can just reload your, you can just reload it. All right, so once console is reloaded, you will be able to see that email is verified there. All right, so this email is verified. Now we are able to use this email. Now you can see how simple is it. You can simply click on that email. You will get all the information about this. It says that verification is done here. Uh, apart from that, you have to also do this uh, DKIM setup. All right, this is digital signature setup. So these process we don't need currently as of now because these process are associated with the domain name and setting the SPF and mail forwarding, etc. So these things we have to insert these name at my domain at a KGP talkie. But for that, we can skip that because we need to insert it at a DNS record. But even though if you don't uh, insert this one, we, we, we will be OK. Not a problem. All right. So let's go ahead and click there. Once you come here, then you can click here, a send, send a test email. There I'm going to say a formatted email from info at the red kgp talkie dot com. Then I'm going to send it to at the same email, let's say info at the red kgp talkie dot com. This is test email. All right, let's go ahead and send it. Now, once you send it, you will be able to see that our email is received at that particular email. Let me open it and uh, show you here. All right, so this email is received here just zero minutes ago. So you can just click on look safe. And uh, apart from that, if you know here, it says that this email is sent via amazonses.com. All right. And thanks a lot for watching it. Thanks, etc. So these things I had sent here at this email info at the red KGP dot com. All right. Now, what do you see here? It says that this email is sent from here and this email was found a suspicious by this Gmail. To avoid those things, you have to set up as I told you earlier that DKIM setup. All right. So these things you have to insert in a DNS record to insert it in a DNS record. How you can do that? You can simply follow this guide. Otherwise, 
if you know something about the dns record you can go there then add dns information then type their c name and then finally you can add this name and this value all right so there they might have some process to explain all right so i'm not going to show you this dkim setup it needs access to my uh, dns console so we are going to avoid that anyway so this is how you can send this email now the thing is here we are sending this email through our console but how you can send this email via any programming language so to send these details via any programming language you need here smtp settings in smtp settings you need a server address you need user id you need a password and a port all right so we'll do this one but before that let me show you some statistics for you so with this sending statistics you will be able to see a sending statistics it says that one email is sent now 199 email is remaining so it says that we are currently in a signed box in a signed box only 200 emails per 24 24 hours are limited and if you want to go outside of this signed box that's mean if you want to go in production you can click on edit your account then you say i enable this production access i want to say that i want to do here transactional and marketing what you are you prefer here thereafter i'm going to say here this kgptalkie.com all right and uh, you have to do here a huge case description i want to say here i want to send email to my user who subscribe me at who subscribes me at youtube and udemy and at kgptalkie.com all right thereafter you can simply say that okay please enable it thereafter additional contact address it says that all right and other things i say that i accept it and then it says that okay i'm going to give here some what is this let me see all right so it is actually email info at the right in fact i want to get it at udemy at the rate kgptalkie.com thereafter you can click on submit for review is it not coming let me see why this is not coming perhaps website url is wrong here it should be https double forward slash kgptalkie.com and in this huge case how much i want to describe here all right i'm going to say here please enable it so it needs some particular minimum number of uh, words to describe your huge cases thereafter we have got submit for review just click on here all right so this account under uh, uh, review currently so later they will approve this account then i will be able to send a bulk email and in the same way you will be also able to send this bulk email all right now let's say by the time it is not in a production mode and it is in sandbox mode what else you can do with this you can see here how many deliveries have been happening with your email which you sent how many emails were rejected how many emails were bounced and how many emails were complained all right uh, uh, how many emails received a complaint from the email receiver that uh, sometimes user also complain email that they have not signed up for that uh, uh, email list all right and uh, you don't uh, don't try to send emails to you know uh, in a bulk who have not uh, signed up for you otherwise you might get banned at aws because they get statistics with rejection bounce and complain based on that they decide the health of or reputation of your ses account 
you can get the reputation from here it says that 0% of bounce rate and 0% of a complaint rate so it's okay a dedicated IP says that if you want to assign a dedicated IP to your email which you want to send and there you have SMTP setting there you have a server name and then there you have a port all right then uh, you can type here SMTP email sending all right so with this email SMTP sending you can you, you can send the emails etc just by uh, settings information like user id and the email etc so there you will get a lots of information in in c sharp or uh, you know online etc whatever you want to say there so you will uh, you will get this information all right like the there this is smtp test send a check and email server so this smtp check needs smtp host port login and password thereafter once you send it then you will be able to receive all right it's like you can get here this uh, server name from here all right so this is i'm just showing you some some way this is just a single process here you can use any programming language to send your smtp email so these are ports thereafter you can create a credentials from here Alright, so this one is username here. We have got this username and I'm gonna just uh, say here this is username. Alright, and then there is a password. So to password you can simply click on create thereafter you will be able to see your username and password from here all right so this one is actually username all right so this one we have got a username thereafter we have got a password from here then you can simply put a password then i want to send it from info at the rate kgp talkie.com and then info at the rate kgptalkie.com then you can simply click on send it will send the email so this is one of the simplest simplest uh, smtp server and apart from that you can use any languages which you want you can simply uh, type there in python or whatever you want to send uh, whatever language you want to send you will get here a uh, lots of uh, you know the suggestion they are uh, they can send all right so it's uh, taking some time to send it otherwise default port is 25 if this port is not working then we can also use here another port all right perfect so this is how you can create this user and if you want to delete that user you can simply click on there so there we created this particular user to send our email all right now i'm going to delete this user because uh, it's an online lesson and uh, someone else might be able to use this so i'm going to simply delete this one all right perfect and apart from that let me show you a few more things uh, let's go ahead and come back to our aws ses services all right so we have deleted so it will not be able to send here all right so with the smtp settings you got to know that how we can do this smtp settings and this was a server name all right thereafter you can also do uh, you can set the notification settings if you want to get the uh, the information about your sending email statistics and other things and if you want to verify more emails you can simply on this one and then you can verify more emails and if you don't want to verify any emails simply you can click on remove and then this email will be removed from here all right perfect so this is how you can use amazon simple email services to send an email all right bye bye have a nice day